Come and join us today at Islands of Adventure during their early park admission at Universal Studios Florida. We're going to show you what to expect for the lines, what is open. We're going to stop at our favorite place to eat for breakfast and maybe get stuck on a ride. All right, so it is like 8.05. Velocicoaster is delayed. Hagrid's doesn't have a time yet. We're going to show how crazy it is during early park admission. And I see Universal is open early, so that's different because it didn't say early park, but I didn't look at the hours. During early park admission, not all the rides are open. It's just basically the Harry Potter and the Lost Coaster. Um, so we're gonna go check it out. Definitely check the app because sometimes Hagrid's or Velocicoaster opens, but then it says delayed, so it may not open right away, which is a complete bummer. Our goal usually is to do Velocicoaster first. All right, so Rick noticed some of the rides open at different times. Storm, Fo Storm Force at 10. So you can use early park admission if you are staying at one of the Universal Resorts or if you are an annual pass holder, depending on your pass and date. They do check your passes, sometimes they scan them, so not anyone can just walk through. Now you have to enter through Seuss Landing. Seuss Landing does not open until regular park hours, so we cut through and head over to Jurassic Park and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We got a late start, so it was already about 8.22 filming this, and Hagrid's was a 90 minute wait. But we We've been there even earlier than that and Hagrid's just typically gets to be about two to three hours most early park admission mornings. So walking through the Lost Continent you can either go to the left which is the Lost Coaster and that's typically what we do initially but I wanted to show you guys the Wizarding World first. But if you want to get both of these rides done, Lost Coaster and Hagrid's, I just recommend getting Lost Coaster done because it's usually like 10 minutes in the morning and Hagrid's is just going to be a long wait no matter what. Oh, usually in early park admission the Hagrid's line is back to here so I was so surprised that it wasn't throughout the entire land maybe because a hurricane had just come through the day before. We are going to go through it later but I'm going to say it was probably closer to an hour at this point. So about two years ago when we attempted to do Hagrid's in the morning after riding Forbidden Journey and the Flight of Hippogriff the line got so long that the end of the line was over in the Lost Continent and if you see a line like this I would just wait until later on in the late afternoon or even at the end of the night because it will not be this bad. Plus lately Hagrid's has been breaking down a lot so if you're waiting in this line it could be even longer than advertised. But if it's like today you could honestly get it done pretty early. If you see it outside like that go enjoy the empty rest of the park like at the Forbidden Journey, go get some breakfast, go ride the Flight of Hippogriff or Velocicoaster. You can get way more done than just spending two to three hours on Hagrid's. You can also take advantage of the empty shots here which is really pretty you won't be able to experience this during the day when it gets way more crowded so i did see that the forbidden journey didn't open until 8 30 which is strange because last time it opened at 8 so keep an eye on that with the app it really depends on what you want to do so you could have done velocicoaster already and then come back to do the forbidden journey and fly to hippogriff and then check the wait for hagrid's i would say go in with a game plan but be flexible in case lines or shorter or longer than expected. So now it is 8.30 and Velocicoaster is still a 10 minute wait. Typically this line gets to be about 50 or 60 minutes on a busy day. So you can actually get here early enough and ride this a couple times if you are a thrill seeker because this is the best coaster in the park. All right, so we're gonna get a locker in here because we have our little baby raptors with us. They do provide free small lockers, but since we had the puppets, we did spend $3 on a big locker. That's cute. Okay, that's adorable. I want to get it. Can we get it? Yeah, maybe after, maybe after the locker. All right, well, let's get a locker when we come back. What about? Yeah, about Tina. That's because it's early. It does feel good. I think she said hi back. I'm not sure which one it is.
right, it's 8.48 and we got done with Velasta Coaster. Let's go check Hagrid's. It says 65. Hagrid's, so let's go check. We went down. It's 8.51 and people are going to the other park, which we can after we go on Hagrid's. Let's see if we can get on it. We've been through this queue enough that we can judge when we see where the line is and we always hope that it's not backed up to Hagrid's hut, which it actually wasn't. It was right inside. But even though it said 65 minutes, it did take that or longer because it broke down about three times. Technically, the third time was when we were on the ride. But no matter what, you're going to have to wait a minimum of 45 to 65 minutes. So definitely bring something to do. Play some games. breaking down it's 10 15 so just be aware of that that's your year old jurassic parked out yeah, cool. he looks so cute they just got him in today from Be beijing it's pretty cool there's this popcorn book kit too that's lil boo but i think the jurassic one is you know obviously all year this is just halloween we thought about getting breakfast over at three broomsticks where we were but we honestly prefer the today cafe which is located right at the entrance of universal and since we were at islands you can either take the hogwarts express or you can walk and sometimes it's just faster to walk we like their breakfast sandwiches and i love their avocado toast which is why we wanted to stop here but we do have a video on all the food at universal studios and all the food at islands of adventure so i will link that down below they do have some good options and some options that i would definitely pass on so you sit down there until your number is called but they do give you the cold items first all right so we got our breakfast well slash lunch i guess brunch um i got the 30 rock over here it's then we got two mine. hot ham and cheese sandwiches with i'm sorry eggs. hot ham hot ham and egg cheese sandwiches with a side of fruit and then avocado toast oh that looks avocado actually toast. really really good and then we got cinnamon roll and a uh, butter cookie cake. Mm, pineapples. And there it is. Guys, look at And there's pineapples. the creator right there. The creator. How do you guys like, like your sandwiches? Good. Good? Very good. They're actually soft. I was expecting the bread to be hard. I'm going to try another bread. And I like this. It's got all kinds of like different nuts, avocado, and what kind of lettuce? A regular. Yeah, a regular. It's really good. I love it. I could eat two of these for sure, and it comes with fruit. Now, I only shared part of our day, just the early park and mission part, and then stay tuned as we did a video on character autographs. I will be editing that, editing that this week. Today, I'm 
Click these videos next, the top one being the universal must-dos at the park and the bottom one being express how much time you save buying that. And stay tuned for more updates. We have a whole playlist on things to do, tips and tricks at Universal Studios Florida.